What is up, Humanoid Nation? I'm back again to do another reaction action video. Today, the top 15 hilarious night shift stories. I used to work at Mickey D's a long ass time ago. And I worked a night shift. It was fun as fuck. I admit it, it was fun, because you can get away with anything. Man, who's gonna fucking complain on you at 3 o'clock in the morning, especially when you lived in BC and you went to the work in the most ghettoist part of the city? But anyways, I had some hilarious stories. I'll tell you them one day, but for now, let's get on with this shit. Number 15. So I get this job working at a convenience store in a shady part of town. It's always they a shady part of town. didn't care about my age and paid me under the table. So I was working the 9 It wouldn't be shady if you didn't get paid under the table. And this place is in the ghetto. Ghetto. Which means I was working the fucking hell shift. Of course one in particular shift. was more outrageous than the others. That would be dear man. At about 3 a.m., this man walks into my store. He's wearing absolutely nothing but a deer hide. Now, this wouldn't be too crazy. What? It wouldn't seem like a freshly skinned deer hide. <laughs> like, naked dude, deer hide hanging over his shoulders like some- Why is he naked? He's wearing a deer hide. With the fucking deer head on his head, antlers and all. Did he, he just go out in the middle of the night and just decide Santa. to kill Bambi all of a sudden? He save Christmas. Did Bambi- do that, he needed did, a free I sort of fucked up joke up. I told him no. Did he Bambi want some revenge and fight, try to fight this guy and the guy killed him anyway? Finally, the case at half price. He made a horse sound and walked out. I was completely dumbfounded. Number 14. I used to work overnights at a popular gas station here in the Bible Belt. Is there I such a thing as a popular gas a station? Country, mind you. Also, it should be noticed that I worked alone. Anyway, one night, two twenty-somethings come in at around three or four a.m. The van they ride up in is in terrible shape. No front plate, one headlight out, etc. Is it the pedophile van? It's gotta be a pedophile van. Wandering around. Or the rape right van. I keep my eye on them and realize both have filled soda cups twice since they arrived. On top of this, I see them steal and what would Jesus do wristbands and necklaces and Because shirts. of course. These are 20 bucks a pop. I note it for my manager to look at 20 bucks a pop. The next day. They come to the pay fuck? for the Jesus is expensive, have, man. Have very sketchy and asking for all kinds of free handouts. I was already on edge and ready to see them go. I ring them up for two sodas plus two refills each, roughly 350 instead of $2. They flip out. One lady was black, the other white. Black lady starts calling me racial slurs and insists on my bigotry due to me overcharging her. Just I because them, please leave and never come she back. plays the race card. They point out on camera how they stole from me. As they leave, the piece of shit van they have isn't starting, and I had enough time to walk around it and record the license plate number, all while being berated. Van finally starts and you suck at escaping. Reverse, going the entire way out onto the road in reverse without turning on the headlights. It causes someone to hit them. The person is livid and calls the police. Cops show up and ask my statement. I give them a rundown and ask if they had any what would Jesus do stuff on them as they said they shoplifted it. They did indeed and it was going on the list of charges. Sweet justice to me and the cop laughed for a good five minutes that about is the whole funny. thing. Number 13. I work as a night audit. Usually it's run of the mill crazy, and sometimes it's just special. This old woman calls down to the front desk around 11 p.m. demanding that I turn off the cameras. At first I thought she meant the cameras in the hallway, and I explained that I can't. They're there for security reasons. Nope, she was convinced there were cameras installed in her room. I end up assuring her that I've turned off all the cameras in her room, and she hung up. My coworker just laughed and shrugged, and I sighed. She's I got thought for the sure dementia. I was gonna have a crappy night. Oddly enough, it was quiet, so I just assumed the old woman was just sleep calling or something. In the morning, just before shift change, the old woman comes down and starts just yelling and screaming at me about how I stole her soul with the cameras in the room and demanded that I sell it back to her. Just to make her shut up, I say okay. She smiles politely and then hands me a $500 Monopoly bill and thanks me for being such a nice young girl. She drinks her coffee and eats breakfast like nothing has happened. Number 12. What? I'm a manager at a cell phone store. One night when I was particularly busy, an elderly lady walked up to the counter. She was visibly upset to the point where I thought she may have a nervous breakdown. She's got the dementia. Breath, appears to compose herself to convey a horrific story to me and says, No matter what I do, I cannot get a dial tone on my cell phone. I've tried for hours. I have had this phone for years and I cannot afford another one. 
I inform her that I can take a look at her phone to determine the issue and hopefully resolve it for her without her having to purchase a new phone. She solemnly reaches into her purse and pulls out the phone. The first thing I notice is that it looks nothing like any of the phones that we carry. And then I see across the top of the device, it says Toshiba. Trying to keep my composure as well as not to embarrass her seeing how distraught she was, I said, Ma'am, that's a remote control for a television. She immediately becomes infuriated and yells, You don't have to be such an ass about it. Snatches her remote control from the counter and storms out through a store full of customers. Number what 11. does she use to turn on her TV at home? Does she use her cell phone? In January in Iowa, about 4 a.m., a guy enters the store only wearing boots and boxers. Or does she have old school television? We have to get to up and change the channel. And as I was beginning to explain that he would need a cup of ice because the water is extremely hot, he puts his mouth to the spout on the coffee machine and starts chugging. He finished and left the store and starts running down the street. Oh. About 30 seconds later, a cop car pulls up with the car lights on and came inside. I just pointed in the direction the guy was running down the street, and the cop said thanks and drove out. <laughs> Number 10. He went that way. Okay, to thank you. I was woman about 10 minutes before we closed. As I was ringing her up, she suddenly pulls out a ring, looks at me, and says, Nice cashier boy, will you marry me? Her son, who was with her, came up and apologized and told me she had dementia. As they were leaving... Dementia! The ring we got it finally! Girl one day. Number 9. Was there an old lady though? No, I... Evening shift in a convenience store years ago. I remember the day I quit like it was yesterday. A customer came in, looking in pain and walking funny, and asked for the bathroom. He shot himself. He ran to the bathroom awkwardly. That's why you walk funny. Together. When you go to the bathroom, Staying you shoot yourself, you walk funny. Minutes, then came back, said thank you, and left. Later, I went to the bathroom, opened the door, and there was shit everywhere. On the walls, on the mirror, on the floor, even on the fucking ceiling. Well, no, I that's what I can say. I fucking quit. Do you have shit on the ceiling implies that shit he really the flung his poo around. I called my manager and It's like it's a scene from Daddy Daycare. Number eight. There's shit everywhere! Night shift. Saw a lot of odd happenings during those years, but by far the strangest thing was at night I thought I witnessed the beginning of a zombie apocalypse. Ned? A 35-year-old alcoholic. Ned started a zombie apocalypse. How dare he? Fuck Fuck you, Ned! Damn it, Ned! You fucked it up for the rest of us! I go look outside and Ned is gone. This isn't weird because, as noted, Ned is an alcoholic and it was still bar time. I sit at my desk and start doing paperwork when I hear rustling outside. I look up and I see Ned in the window with blood on his face. I open the door and ask him what happened. That's when he growled at me and ran forward with his arms out. So I slam the door and back away. Ned fumbles with the knob and growls some more. Another guy at the shelter comes by the office and sees this and slowly backs away. Ned then stopped trying to get in and began running around the yard growling and trying to climb a fence. I call 911 because I don't know what the fuck is happening. The dispatcher is so confused by my description that she says she will send police to talk to me. The cops show up and Ned runs at them growling. He hurls himself over the fence to do this. One cop pulls his gun while the other pulls a taser. Neither fired. I'm watching I'm this neither fired. the other client. The cops are yelling at Ned who all of a sudden gets up, walks towards my door, grabs a cigarette butt, and lights up. The cops approach him with their weapons still out. He looks at them, smiles, and says, I didn't do it, man. Turns out Ned has a seizure disorder that causes him to run around rather than fall over and shake. But to me, dude went full on zombie. <laughs> Number okay. seven. I worked night security for two years. Is One that night, Dumbledore? Two eight, Thou shall not pass. Thick fog rolled into town. I was when you have shit in your pants. A big hill that drunks usually walk down. However, tonight, through the Does he have dementia? Jesus Christ, or at least a guy dressed like him, everything, robe, crown of thorns, sandals, sash, all the fixings, he simply walked by us, said, peace be with you, and disappeared into the mist again. It wasn't Easter or Christmas weekend, so it really made no sense why someone would dress up like that. Number six. What the fuck? I worked the night shift at a 7-Eleven for years. One night, a woman came in to get coffee, and she was crying. I made the mistake of asking her what was wrong. She started crying harder and told me a demon had touched her sweater and her angel wings had burned off. She started hysterically crying and told me she had to find a priest to bless her and her sweater. This was around 2 a.m. She was inconsolable. 
had tears running Yeah, down face. she's in Catalo because a demon touched her vest. Think my angel sweater, whatever the fuck bad. she had. I tried to sound as optimistic she needs as possible. She to priest, dude, to exercise that shit. I hope so. Number five. A couple pulled up to get some gas after the bars closed. They were both drunk and arguing. The guy had gotten out and started to fill the car with gas when the chick came out of the car, snatched the nozzle, and sprayed him down in gas. While he was screaming and freaking out, she calmly opened the passenger door, reached into the glove box, and got out a small box of matches. She then started to flick them towards him off the box so they would be lit and sit Attempted murder on her, eh? Body. He ran off up the highway and she was in hot pursuit. Number four. A few weeks ago, I had this strange older guy come in. The thing was, he didn't just it's come six in. Flags he guy. in. Moon walked in a way. He asked for a small package of Belmonts, and I said, Small in stature or in numbers? I suppose he was charmed by this, because afterwards he stuck around to chat with me. He gave me his card and said he was a lawyer, then did some weird coin flipping tricks and left. Number three. <laughs> A couple walk up to me that seem to have just started the moonwalk dating. lawyer They're in that stage where they can't keep their hands off each other. They buy a pack of cigarettes and are practically screwing each other against my booth as I ring them up. As just I walk because. away, I notice a white car pull up to them, and the couple and the driver begin talking. I begin the procedure to close the gas station. I exit my booth and notice that the three people aren't talking, but arguing. It becomes obvious that the driver of the car is the ex-girlfriend and she was dumped so the guy could start dating the new girl. The last bit of conversation I hear is the guy saying, fuck you, if you're not gonna handle this rationally, we're done talking. The guy and girl start- You can't rationalize with a crazy girl bitch. The car says, don't you crazy walk away from me, you son of a bitch. Bitch be crazy. She then floors it, missing the couple by a couple See? of feet at See? Bitch back. tried to run you over, she she's crazy. She around in the parking lot and makes another attempt at it, barely missing one of my gas pumps in the process. She then takes off. I called 911 and security. She was charged with two counts of attempted murder. Number Good. two, 10 o'clock at night. I was informed by a cashier that a woman had been on one of the pay phones for over three hours. This was before what the cell phones were common. What? I shrug it off. What we conversation do you have on a pay phone for three hours? Was complaining. Is she there any pay phones at all anywhere? She well, maybe in the past, not today. Probably just in the past. Who knows? That's her problem. But still, in the past, in the nineties, we close at midnight. Who the Remember fuck? She's still on the phone. Ah, and the conversation for three hours. Closing in half an hour, and that she'll need to continue her call from somewhere else at that time. She nods. I walk away. Midnight rolls around. We have a cop on duty on weekends who's making a sweep of the store to make sure no one is still inside that doesn't belong there. I walk over to the woman and tell her she's gonna have to leave because of her clothes. She tells me to go fuck myself. I inform the cop of the woman. He walks over to her. Ma'am? Ma'am, it's time for you to leave now. She turns her back to the cop and continues talking. She She's then got walks the dementia. Her face her again, and she does the same thing. He's now agitated. Okay, the joke died a couple of minutes ago. Now. She shoves her hand in his face, oh. turns her back again, and keeps talking. He grabs the phone and hangs up. She proceeds to jump on the cop and beat the shit out of him, which results in her getting arrested. <laughs> Number one, was patrolling a federal building one night around 2 a.m. There's a flight of stairs that seems about two stories tall that leads from one area of the buildings down to the courtyard in front of the main building. I saw a guy leave one of the federal buildings with a briefcase and what I thought was a computer, but it turned out to be a skateboard. He proceeded to try to rail down the enormous amount of stairs. Let me take your computer for a He made it about 60% of the way down and then fell. He looked like he was mangled as he rolled down the last part of the stairs, briefcase still firmly in hand. I ran over Real to see him dead. Falling off the car. 20 yards from him and he jumped. What did he up, fall off? Bleeding from his face and the cliff. Living, grabbed the skateboard whatever. and whatever fell out of his pocket and just got into a cab that had just pulled up and drove away. There was a trickle of blood all the way to where he got into the cab. After getting to the bottom of the stair area, he must have fallen down at least 200 feet of concrete stairs. Holy It was crap. insane. And I just kind of sat there and looked at it for about 20 minutes or so before going about my business. They had a video of it in the camera room inside. Oh, at the we, bottom we, of the there's a YouTube video out there about this. Away. It was unreal. Better be a YouTube be video. Top 15 list. Be sure to leave it in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe for future videos. Thanks for watching. I'm definitely subscribing. You have some funny shit. So that's the top 15 funniest horror 
What the fuck am I saying horror stories? I'm still on the other one where someone's under your bed. The hilarious night shift stories. They were indeed hilarious. Like I said, I have my own night shift stories from back in the day, but I'll make that in a different video and like a e-log somewhere down the line. Anyways, what do you guys think? Take it easy, human donation. Humanoid freak out. Bye. <laughs>